Hey, welcome back guys, this is David Kemp and I am bringing you another video from Code Wars and this is part of the first look series where I don't look at the problem before I bring it to you. Uh, you're going to watch me struggle through it and that's the point. And so we are going to tackle this one. Um, right now I have three playlists uh, going from level 7, 6, and 5. I think I'm just going to top those three off at 10 videos each. So um, it's going to be a problem if Code Wars doesn't give me more level 7 problems but we'll see um, we'll go with what we have right now that that playlist has five videos um, so okay so let's go go ahead and get started with this one this is called reverse words write a write a reverse words function that accepts a string um, accepts a string a parameter and reverses each word in the string every spacious state so you cannot use words in prelude words from prelude um, not sure what that means um, example, this is an example, it returns the exact same thing and it looks like the capital casing, the casing all stays the same. Um, oh, so the whole thing does not switch, like say we can see how example was the last word, it did not become the first word, it just, everything stayed the same but it just got reversed. Um, yeah, just, uh, they gave us the same example twice. Okay. Um, an example, an example, double spaces. Okay, so if there's double spaces, there's going to be double spaces in there too. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm thinking about is the easiest way to reverse it is simply to put it inside a different, uh, an, a different array. And I think that uh, if we're not dealing with space complexity, that's totally fair. Um, if we are, we'll have to think about it a little bit more. But given, uh, we'll just worry about getting the problem done at first. So. Um, Let's not worry about space complexity. Let's just worry about uh, getting the right answer. And so right now we are working with str and we are going to, um, okay, let's think about the approach first. Every word is reversed. The, the, the order of the words are, are remain the same. So I feel like, uh, first of all, we're gonna have to traverse through the whole entire string. So, and then tackle each word at a time. So how about let's create that. I equals zero. I is less than str dot length. I plus plus. Okay, so that is going to take us through. That's going to take us through this uh, string array that they give us. And um, actually, no, I messed up. It will, I'm not quite sure what that will do, but uh, that is a, a word we wanted to split it first. So let um, str array equal, uh, let's see, str dot split. And we're gonna split it on the, we're gonna split on the space, but I'm not sure what happens when we split it on, uh, when say, say there's a double space. So why don't we go ahead and check in node real quick. So let sent equals hello world and double space right there, yes. And so uh, sent dot split, and we're gonna split it on the space. And so, ah, so there's a space that gets uh, given to us here. All right, not a problem, I guess. Um, and if we were, sometimes it's just that. And so just real quickly, let i equals zero, i send sent dot length, cause I didn't know it off the top of my head, so. I'm curious as to what would have happened. Uh, so dot log send of i might even just give us an error. Oh no, it goes through every single letter. Okay, uh, I mean that makes sense because uh, just like an array, strings can be indexed at the at their index position. Um, and so, hmm. I don't, I don't think that was useful to us. Uh, definitely want to split it. Uh, I'm kind of worried about the double spacing, but we'll deal with that when we get there. Let's have a solution ready for this um, regular space words or sentences first. And so I think the best way to go about this is, um, well, honestly, this reverse words, it'd be better uh, written out as reverse sentences. And uh, we'll have a helper function called reverse, which will take is input and reverse it right away. And so let's do that. Um, if 
Oh no, no, we're, we're creating a function. Reverse. Now we'll just call it reverse. We'll take in a string, we know that. And uh, what we'll do is um, we'll just uh, let new string equal something random. Oops. And we'll take a for loop through the string uh, going through it backwards. So let i equal string.length minus 1 because um, the last index is going to be minus 1 of the length. i is less than uh, string dot, oh, no, nope. i is greater than or equal to 0 because we're going backwards, i minus minus. And at that point, we're just going to do new str plus equals um, str of i. There we go, and return new str. And so that should give us a new string. Yes, because say we have the word hello. Um, new string starts with nothing. It's just a string. And we're going through it backwards. So we'll hit the O first. And we're just going to add it on to this guy. Um, and of course, the casing is not affected because we didn't deal with that or touch that in any way. And so um, when we first started this, we said that we wanted to uh, just create a new new whole sentence. We didn't have to deal with um, kind of doing anything else. Or how about this? How about this? We can, we can, I was, well first I was thinking we'll create a new array and we'll, we'll kind of push into the new array these new words. But how about just taking the string array um, and just uh, changing it, whatever was on there, equals uh, the reverse of reverse of str, or which is going to be str array of i. And that way, if we put in a space, then we'll just get a space back, uh, which will take care of our double space problem. And so, let's see, where was that? Um, sent dot split. We did that, we got that, so let, how about, and I'm just gonna test, um, oops. What I'm doing is I'm testing um, if I join it again, will I still have the double space? So this is the array for now. Dot join, and if we just join on the space, yes, we'll still keep the double space. I should have known that off the top of my head, but hey, I forget sometimes. And so we are just going to str dot str array dot join, and we're going to join on the space, and we're just going to return that. Um, so let's see, if we take this example, or let's just take the double spaces example, we double spaces is this string, we split it, and so now uh, we have in our array, our array of str array, um, in our str array, we have double, a space, and spaces. Those are our three uh, things inside that array. And so in that array, we're gonna look at um, the zero, first, and second element. First element is double, and we send double, that word double, into this reverse uh, helper function. And it will just um, reverse it. Then we send in the space, and we reverse it. It's just the space, we get that back. And, um, and then the last one, spaces. And so, and I am confident that we do get the space back, but I just wanna double check it doesn't hurt, we're not on a time constraint anyways. And so reverse, actually let's just check it all. Okay, that works. Cool, we do get the space back. Um, I tried it right there. I reversed just an SDF, FDS, and then the space, we got a space back, which was what we were expecting. So let's go ahead and attempt this guy and see what we get. Cool, we passed off for, um, let's submit final, and see if we get it. It is submitting, and uh, I have high hopes for this. Should be should be a pass. Awesome. Where where is that? It's been a while. I guess when we get back when we get here, it, it means we just passed it, right? Show cloud the description. Blah blah blah. How satisfied? I'm satisfied. Although I wish there was like a congrats screen. But whatever, uh, we're in the solutions now, so that means we got it right.
So that was reverse words.